I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're from the Gymnastics too. Welcome to Flipping Friday. We know that most of our subscribers are self-taught gymnasts and they do gymnastics at home, so we wanted to make a video that is fully for you guys. So today we are doing Ultimate Self-Taught Gymnastics Guide. So we're going to be giving you our best tips for you guys to be better a gymnast when you're practicing at home. We're going to give you some equipment options and ideas and, and some practice ideas for like what you should do when you're practicing at home. And let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk to you guys about is equipment because obviously if you're going to be doing gymnastics at home, you need to have the right equipment or at least some options for equipment. So for floor, here are some of the things you can use. The first thing is a yoga mat. You can get these pretty much anywhere. And it's just kind of nice to have some padding. The next thing is an actual mat because that would be great to have. You can get them online usually. And another thing is a mattress. Keep in mind that you might want to ask your parents if you use a mattress because the springs might get ruined. For some beam options, we're going to show you a couple different things that you can try. The first thing that we're going to show you how to do is how to do your own DIY tape beam. We did a video on this forever ago, but we're just going to show you how to do it again really quick. So we're going to show you how to do it on the yoga mat. You're just going to take any tape, one that you can probably see, so one that's colored. And then you're going to want to make sure that you bring it the entire length of the mat and just make sure that the width is 4 inches because that is the width of an actual beam. So whether you want that to be inside the tape is 4 inches or including the outside of the tape is 4 inches, just make sure that you know what the measuring is. We did ours so that the outside was also 4 inches so that you could also step on the tape. Make sure not to use duct tape because that's probably going to be really hard to take off your mats. So we usually use painter's tape when we do this. You can also use washi tape and those will work great. We also have this on like our actual mat too as you can see. So you can do it on a yoga mat or even an actual mat. And if you do it on an actual mat that folds, then just feel free to also snip the tape in between the lines so you can still fold it up like normal. Another beam option is going to be a folding beam. This is just about two inches off the ground and it's really soft so it's great for working on new skills. This is our Resolute beam. It's a little, going to be more expensive but you can actually use it like an actual beam and it works great if you're trying new skills. The last step I'm going to show you is bars. So if you don't have a bar at home you can take a broom handle and work on some drills. This is me doing a kip drill and it's great to build muscle memory. And if you live near a park that has one of these bars, you can try doing your skills on there because it actually works pretty well. Just make sure if it's too high, you might need like a stool or something. We also wanted to throw out that if you are able to get any sort of equipment that you should just get a normal mat and a beam like this because they are the perfect thing if you're an at-home gymnast. Now that we've given you all of our equipment options, we wanted to give you guys an outline of how you could do a practice at home if you wanted to actually set time aside and actually work on a practice. So first start off your practice by stretching out, obviously get everything like your wrists and your ankles, your back, all that fun stuff. Then we like to start off with doing splits for two minutes each. Um, also side note, Megan and I's splits are not very good, so no judgment. <laughs> After you finish doing your splits, start off by working on your floor skills. So make sure you start off by doing skills you already have mastered from easiest to hardest. And then once you get done with all of the skills you already have, then go ahead and pick one or two skills to start working on. When working on harder skills, it's great if you have a mattress at this point to pull it out so you can start using that. If you have a mattress, it's going to be softer and you're also going to still be able to land on it. It's not going to be too soft. So it's the perfect thing to use if you're working on new skills before you actually try it on a mat. After you're done working on your floor skills, you can move on to beam. So you can start off working your easy skills like we did on floor. And then after that, you can start working on the skills that you want to get. Once you finish working on beam, if you do have an option for a bar, whether that's at a park or if you actually have a bar, and you're going to want to go through the same process of doing skills that you already have and then working on new skills. Now that you've finished working on every event, we think you should finish off your practice with conditioning. 
This is going to help you get your new skill that you're working on by strengthening your muscles. So some options we have are sit-ups, also push-ups to work your upper body strength. You want to try and use 10 minutes of your time to do your conditioning at the end. You can also do some tricep dips, so just put your arms up on a higher surface and then bend through your elbows. For cardio, you could always run in place or you could just run around in general. And another good cardio option would be to jump rope. And our last workout idea for you is to do some calf raises. If you do a lot of these, these are going to kill your calves. Since being an at-home gymnast can be hard because you're on your own basically, we decided to give you guys some helpful resources. So first of all, our channel is going to be huge because we post tutorials. We have a whole playlist, all you have to do is go to our channel, press playlist, and then we have a whole tutorial playlist full of like 55 tutorials I think, and they're really helpful and you guys should definitely check them out. We also know that you guys like to be graded on what level you are, so we have a link down below that has a bunch of gymnastics gradings from level 1 through 6 that you can download. And our final resources are just a couple of websites where you can get some equipment. So the first website is Tumble Track, which we've gotten a few of our equipment from there. It works great. The next website is the Beam Store. We've never purchased anything from there, but it looks like it has a lot of countries that it ships to, which is really great for if you're around the world. And the last website is Nimble Sports. That's the first website we've ever used when we first started ordering equipment, and they have some really great stuff too. Since it is Living Friday, that means there's a new TC2 crew member of the week. So this week's TC2 crew member is. If you would like a chance to be next week's TC2 crew member, all you have to do is hashtag TC2 crew member on a picture of you doing cheer gymnastics on Instagram. Also, sorry I forgot about that last week. It totally slipped like, our minds. Completely forgot. Oops. So yeah. We remember this week though, so that's good. Um, comment down below if you guys thought this was helpful if you're a self-taught gymnast and you're going to take what we said into what you do when you practice at home. If you would like to subscribe to our channel, just go ahead and click the icon over there or subscribe by clicking the button down below. If you want to visit our merchandise shop, you can go to our website by clicking the t-shirt. And if you want to watch our last video, just click right there. And we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.